Hey what's up guys and welcome to this man of the match Jeremy Menez player review. First of all if you are not aware he got this man of the match card for his performance in AC Milan's 5-0 win in the Coppa Italia. In this game Menez scored twice and that is why he got this man of the match card. Anyway just quickly before we talk about this man of the match Menez card you may have noticed at the start of the video there was a man of the match Cavani in the same team. That review is already on the channel so make sure you go check it out when you get a chance to do so. And just quickly, if you could leave a like on this video, that would be very much appreciated. Right then, let's talk about Man of the Match, Jeremy Menes. The first thing I'm going to say is I absolutely love non-informed Menes, so I was very much looking forward to trying out this special card. And I also have to mention, I was very impressed with this Man of the Match card. It is a lot better than his non-informed, in my opinion, especially when it comes to shooting. The Man of the Match card shooting is miles better than the non-informs. Looking at the skill attributes then, the ones that stand out and the ones that you will notice if you use this guy are his 88 ball control on the ball, he was great. His 87 dribbling feels very quick and very fluid on the ball. And finally, his 85 finishing. I was very impressed with this card's finishing. As I mentioned previously, a lot better than his non-informed card. Anyway, moving on to the in-game clips, and as you can see, the first clip, this guy is very freaking agile, he's very quick on the ball, his close control is great, and he's an absolute nightmare for defenders to tackle. Despite him being pretty weak, his balance is decent, so this guy can be an absolute handful for your opposition if you use this guy in the correct way. As I just said, he is pretty weak, he does have 60 strength, some people might find that to be an issue, but as I said, it wasn't a problem for me because his balance was decent enough, and then uh, most of the time, it was easy to manoeuvre this guy around defenders. Anyway, let's move on to his shooting, which as I mentioned earlier, I was very impressed with the shooting of this Man of the Match card. He was finishing chances that he probably shouldn't have. His long shots aren't really that great, but inside the box, this guy can be deadly. He can finish well with both his left foot and his right foot, and the only issue I really had with this guy's shooting was actually his shot power, which I would class as inconsistent. Moving on now to his passing, now I've got to say his short passing was very good, perfect for link up play if that's your thing. His long passing wasn't too bad either and I really, really liked his crosses, his deliveries at times were perfect. One more thing I want to cover before we summarise this card is his positioning, which I've got to say, no issues with to be honest, he was making great runs for me and was very effective on the counter attack. This card may have medium low wear crates but for me he played like he had high low wear crates. I should also mention at times he does like to drift wide but that wasn't a problem because on the wing he was very useful because he could just easily cut inside and get a shot off or cross the ball into the box. So guys it is summary time and as you can see I have given Man of the Match Jeremy Menez a very impressive 9.1 out of 10. This card was great fun to use and I was surprised. I did not expect him to be as good as he was. On the counter attack he is deadly and I was extremely surprised with how good his crossing and his general deliveries were. So is he worth picking up? I kind of think he is, I definitely think he's worth picking up and trying out at least. Obviously I don't advise you guys to go out and pay as much as I did for him, I paid a lot for him so I could review him and get this video out for you guys, but um, yeah, you guys don't want to be spending as much as I did on this card. His price should drop a lot throughout the day and hopefully he does and I'm hoping he drops to around or under 150k because at that price I definitely think he's worth picking up. Just before we end, I want to say as much as I like this card, I can see why some people wouldn't. His strength isn't that great and his shot power can let him down. Still, if you do try him, remember play to his strengths, avoid contact with defenders as much as you can, play through balls to him because he loves to get on the end of through balls and that way you'll have much more success with this card. So guys, those are my thoughts on Man of the Match Menes. I hope you have enjoyed this player review. If you have, please remember to leave a like on the video, comment below who I should review next. Have a good day. Adios.